Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is your boy SA Red29, bringing you a first look at the new Recon Smoke Projector Headlights with ultra high power smooth OLED halos for all four Super Duties 2011 to 2016. Part number 264272BKC. I'll provide links to all products used down below. If you're looking for a way to update the look of your truck, then these headlights are what you've been searching for. These recon projector headlights come with standard halogen bulbs already installed. However, if you wish to upgrade to LED, HID, or Xeon headlights for your projector low beam, then you'll need to look for H7 bulbs. I personally chose Retro Solutions 35 watt digital brand HID kit because these balances will offer more light than overrated HID kits on the market. This is a completely unbiased review and walkthrough on how I installed my lights. Recon nor Retro Solutions gave me any products for review. These products were however purchased with my own money. This is not a how-to video and any modifications you make is solely upon you. So please read all instructions carefully before proceeding with any of modifications to your truck. As you can see, I ran the passenger side wire harness down under my bumper and zip tied it along the way to the driver's side. With the wire and harness for the driver's side being the same length as the passenger side so that you can choose what side battery you want to hook it to, I chose the driver's side battery. Once I was on the driver's side, I just bundled up the extra wires and loosely zip tied it together and stuffed it behind the battery box. As you also can see, Retro Solutions instructions say to keep the relay upright so that any moisture cannot get into the connections and corrode it. I also wrapped liberally some electrical tape just for extra protection and that way the relay won't fall off for any reason. Uh, I then ran the positive and negative wire up to the fender on the driver's side and then through a little small gap between the fender and the battery itself and I made my connections to that battery. Um, I'm going to put some split loom right here on these two wires just to kind of dress it up prior to finishing everything up just to make it look a little cleaner and you don't see all these extra wires. Over here on the actual driver's headlights, um, you can see that that's the ballast connected or well, mounted actually on the headlight housing. Uh, what I use is some hot glue uh, to secure it. Uh, you can use screws. Screws won't penetrate the housing itself and uh, make it probably secure a little bit better, but so far the hot glue has been working for me. Um, on this pigtail right here, this is the original pigtail from the headlights that connects to your truck uh, and then on the inside of that is a plug that goes to the H7 bulb that we were talking about um, underneath of this rubber grommet. Uh, what you have to do though with the Retro Solution HID bulbs is, is you have this massive amount of wires that go to it because you need to connect to your ballast. So what I did is I cut a 7 8 inch hole right here in the rubber and I just this rubber grommet came with the retro solution bulbs and I just fit it all around there to keep the moisture contents down because uh, as you can see right here that uh, that is what's protecting the bulb from any moisture getting to it so uh, do your best to you know keep everything sealed up as much as possible uh, these are the two wires that connect directly to the bows this wire will go to the white black wire on the wire harness and this one connects, there's another wire that goes to the red wire right here on the wire and harness. So I'll put it all together and I'll show you the completed look. Well, we got everything finished up and got the headlights on and looking real sharp. Uh, these are the uh, Retro Solution Amber uh, 360 LED lights that I put in as well, just to kind of keep everything LED and just fresher looking. Um, no hyper flashing with any of this stuff. 
I also purchased the uh, Recon LED uh, smoked tail lights as well. This is their actual newer updated version of the other ones they had. So I like these. These also have the OLED uh, light bar on there for your running lights and it uses the LED clusters for the blinker and brake light. So actually other drivers can see when you're stopping a lot better than going from a somewhat dim LED to a bright LED. This one's noticeably different. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're looking for something to really bring out your truck, these will do it right here. Uh, I love the 6000K light. Uh, I love the white look, uh, the crisp lines, as you can see right here. They just, they really stand out and they just really show off everything. And you can see that in the before and after videos I got coming up next.